Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, my last video, I think it was my last video, um, yeah, I made a video on how to make a fake virus on Windows, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make it on Mac. So, um, yeah, if there's any background noise, guys, I'm sorry, I'm in the same room as my brother. Um, so yeah, if you hear any keyboard sounds, sorry, I don't really see how that's bad, but... Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do to make do make this work, click command space, go ahead and type in Apple script. There we go. Now just open it. Alright. You could click done, file, and then click new. Alright, it will open up this. Um you guys can go ahead and make this full screen if you want to. And the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and type in display. Oh, and also I'm going to have the script in the description if I don't forget to put it in. Uh, but anyway, you're going to put display alert do a space two of these, then in these little commas you're going to type in finder has found viruses or something like that in your PC. Anyway, Finder has found viruses in your PC or your Mac in this case or MacBook, whatever your um, friend is using or whoever you're going to prank. So Finder has found viruses in your Mac. You're then going to go ahead and type um, we will do a check, a, a virus scan. Just type in like something that sounds like you got a virus, we're gonna do a virus check and stuff like that. Okay, a virus, we will do a virus scan. All right, then you'll go here and you're gonna type in delay and then like two and then Display alert finder has fixed some problems. Alright. And you every time you like write something, you're gonna need these little parentheses or commas. I forgot how they are called. I don't sorry if I'm saying the wrong thing. Then you're gonna put delay and um like Two, and then you're gonna type in launch. Whoops, I put launch. Launch um application. Application, and you're gonna just launch a bunch of random applications such as Safari, iTunes, App Store, whatever. Launch application apps. Um, you're gonna put parentheses after each every app that you put in. App Store. Delay. To la launch application um iTunes now guys I also want to give a big um like thanks to I forgot the youtuber's name but I'll put his channel in the description because he was I actually got this from him he didn't tell me but I watched his video and that kind of inspired me to make this one so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and give the shout out to him anyway after you do all of these things you guys can go ahead and do delay too and like make make a bunch of apps like launch basically all right sorry my recording kind of got corrupted anyway this is what you're gonna this is the script from before it got corrupted. Um, it's display alert, finder has found viruses, delay, delay, launch application, launch application, and then delay, and you're just gonna type in launch, like different applications to launch, and basically, after you have done that, you could do display alert, these parentheses, and then inside the parentheses, you're gonna, wait, am I calling these parentheses? Bro, I just screwed up. <laughs> These are not parentheses. I don't know what they're called. I forgot, guys. I'm sorry. 
inside these quotes has been corrupted. Hard drive has been corrupted. Aborting all tasks. All right. Then you're gonna do delay two or three. At least we could put three. Why not three? Yeah. Oops. Um, and then display alert. Bad response from disk. And then we could put like shut shutting down PC or I mean shutting down Mac or MacBook. In this case I'm using a MacBook. I'm gonna write MacBook. Alright, here we go. It's done. So now if we click this little button um oops oh yeah if there's a an error it will actually tell you to fix it and that's all right because you guys can fix it and that's Siblings. pretty much that's it um so i'm just gonna put a period after all of this to make it more like look official you know And my computer is starting to heat up because it's an old MacBook. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be buttons. Okay, if I do this. Whoa, what the fudge just happened? Okay, just where's App Store? Oh, okay, guys, I'm sorry. So, guys, don't write App Store, write. Put a space between App and Store if you're going to open up App Store. I'm sorry. Okay. Now that you have that all done, you're going to want to go ahead and click run. Variable OK is not defined. What the? Okay, I don't think you need these guys. Get rid of them. Compile it. By pressing this little hammer. Press it and it says Finder has found viruses in your Mac. We will do a virus scan. I don't know if I spell viruses. Spell viruses wrong. Find rest, fix some problems. Yes. And then, it's gonna do a delay. It's gonna launch the App Store. Hard drive has been corrupting. Aborting all tasks. And then, it's, let's say, bad response on disk. Shutting down MacBook. Oh no! Alright, we're not done though. So basically, you're gonna wanna click File. And you're gonna click Save. You're going to name this something that someone would click on. Or you could name it virus scan or something. And then you could tell your friend, bro, I installed the virus scan program that I use in my computer, blah, blah, blah. They're going to open it. You can prank them that way. I'm just going to name it Mozilla. Mozilla Firefox. There you go. And we're going to put it on the desktop. And you're going to change this to an application. All right? Click Save. After that, you're going to want to go ahead and you guys can close, you guys can do this. I can close that. Anyway, now it should be, this should be on your, um, on your desktop. Now, nobody's going to click on something that has this little script thing, which I, so what you're going to do is go to your program that you named it, like, whatever, and there's here's Firefox. You're gonna right click on it. You're gonna click Get Info, and you're gonna click on this little icon right here. You're gonna do Command C to copy it. You can then close this. Go here to Mozilla Firefox. Then go ahead and Get Info. Go to the top icon and do Command V to paste it. All right. And then click Command S. Save it. All right. So the thing did it show up because we have to restart the computer. And restarting should take very fast, and yeah, it, it'll take fast. So just all you have to do, you guys can go ahead and close this. Um, but what you have to do is go ahead and reboot your computer now.
Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I have, um, my, I rebooted my computer, I mean my laptop, my MacBook, and, um, the wallpaper's changed, but, as well, my little Firefox, it's right here, this is the fake virus thing, and it looks exactly like Firefox, because when you reboot your computer, the icon reloads, and basically, when your, um, friend, or whoever you're gonna prank, is gonna click on this little thing, it's gonna say, Finder has found viruses in your Mac. We'll do a virus scan. Okay. Finder has fixed some problems. And then it's going to open up App Store. It's going to open up a bunch of random stuff. Hard drive has been corrupted. Corrupted aborting old tasks. And then bad response from disk. Shutting down MacBook. And you guys can even go even further with this little prank. By making it so whenever it says shutting down, it will shut down the MacBook. Now, it's not hard to make it shut down. I'm pretty sure that you just write shut down and make it shut down that way. So, yeah, guys, it's very easy to do this. Go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, guys, if you did subscribe. It would help me so much. Trying to reach 100 subscribers. And also, I'll see you in the next video. So, goodbye.